think it's kind of those, those final two possessions, what you saw from the, the defense on, on Reggie Jackson and, and then kind of the look that Terrence was able to get on the subsequent possession. You know, on the road, uh, tie game, you know, trust the guys that, you know, are going to speak, that they want to sit down and guard. You know, Reggie Jackson makes a tough shot over Wendell. Uh, you call the timeout. You have 2.2 left on the clock. You, the thing that you ask for in, in a game like this on the road is that you get a good look. You get the shot you want. Uh, and then you just, you know, whether it goes in or it doesn't go goes in or it doesn't, you know, you gave yourself an opportunity uh, on the road to win the game. Um, so, like I said, I'm proud of these guys for fighting to the end, coming back from being down, uh, continue to scrap, continue to go get after it defensively. You know, after allowing uh, 142 points the other night in Sacramento, how much more was this in line with what you want to see out of this group, especially on the defense end? Well, our defensive end of the floor was, I thought, was was solid. Again, part of our game plan was, you know, certain guys that you know took shots uh, weren't part of. Um, Game plan to make those shots, but again, they did make them. They, some of those guys came up big for them, uh, and then we did a job that we would like to do on the guys that we knew were going to take certain shots. So again, our guys fought, they battled, we gave ourselves a chance playing the defensive end of the floor, uh, and again, a chance to win it uh, on the road at the end of the game. Go ahead, John. James Hill, BNC Sports. Hey, coach, uh, can you talk about your uh, your players offensively? You had uh, like five guys in double figures, and that's always good when when guys are getting shots up and, and knocking down shots. Oh, you're absolutely right. I, I really believe in our ability to share the basketball, um, our ability to trust the pass. Again, stepping in with confidence. We've been talking about this all year, being able to step into your shot with confidence uh, and be able to be willing to knock it down. Coach, you guys get another opportunity, a quick turnaround. You'll play again tomorrow uh, as part of that five-game road trip. Just talk about coming back and bringing a lunch pail. That's the great part about the NBA. You know, whether, you know, win or lose, you get a chance and an opportunity the next night or the, the night after that. So, again, our guys will be ready to go tomorrow uh, again and just look, take what we did well from this game uh, as well as what we need to improve on and walk into tomorrow, you know, with our heads held high and ready to go. Thank you, Coach. Kobe Price, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Jamal. Uh, what did you think? Uh, I guess get your thoughts on the two-man game. It seemed like especially in that third quarter, Wendell and Franz really just start to click, uh, you know, with Wendell kind of in the elbow area and Franz cutting off of him. Well, what it is is they do such a, you know, they did a great job, you know, denying and pressuring uh, the pick and roll with Cole. Uh, so being able to get the ball into our bigs' hands where they become a playmaker in certain situations and the cuts and the movement uh, on the backside, I, you know, I was really happy with our guys continuing to move and play without the basketball. Uh, you know, Franz did a really good job making decisions down the stretch as, as well as Dell down there. So I really, I really like the way that they played off of each other. And then I guess for tomorrow, I mean, what's the, I guess, what's the message to the team in terms of, you know, how this road trip has gone, I guess, especially for the morale, you know, you want to get at least one win on the road. Well, I think it continues to be the same. You know, we talk about the spirit of our guys, the energy of our young men. Uh, they continue to fight no matter what's going on. As, you know, we showed tonight, giving ourselves an opportunity to win at the end of the game. Uh, and tomorrow, walking in tomorrow, it's going to be the same thing. We continue to fight, we continue to work, and we continue to just battle each and every single game. Because tonight we got better, uh, and we'll continue to improve and grow, and these guys are getting better at that. Josh Cohn, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Coach. Uh, the Clippers only took six free throws tonight. Did you like the physicality of your defense and the ability to avoid uh, fouling in unnecessary situations? Well, that was big for us tonight. It gave us an opportunity that we were able to get to the free throw line and we kept them off of the free throw, free throw line. Now, I know they made some shots. Uh, they did hit some tough ones. But again, our ability to defend without fouling was, was able to give us a chance in this game. All right. Thank you, Coach Mosley. Terrence, what did, what did you see on the, the final look that you were able to get there? Um, it was a good look. I didn't miss it. <laughs> Um, you know, after after giving up about 142 points the other night in Sacramento, I know the defense was a big focus of practice. How do you feel that the group responded tonight? Um, we did a lot better. Um, some guys hit shots. That was part of the, the scouting report. We were going to win that. You know, like the, uh, the Winslow's and Terrence Man, they were hitting some big shots, but that's kind of what we were – that's the game plan for us, to let them uh, shoot rather, you know, looking hard. But um, we, we definitely played a lot better on defense. Um, 
for a lot. And then I'm trying to, the thing that coach has been, you know, preaching in the game or in practices, you know, the game is pretty much decided it can get out of control in five possessions. So we try to take, you know, each five possessions and, and, and make sure that we can come out on top and make sure that we can just kind of play the game at a pace where we're not getting too ahead of ourselves and we're not letting it get away from us. So we did a better job with all that tonight. I'll stay with it. Go ahead, Joel. Uh, Josh Cohn, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Terrence. Uh, you took a career-high 13 free throws tonight. Uh, were you just trying to be extra aggressive getting to the basket? Obviously, I know some of those free throws came off uh, getting fouled on a three-pointer, but uh, did you just make it a concerted effort to get into the paint, draw some fouls? Um, yeah, I was just trying to attack. Um, <clears throat> I know, you know, during the first half, towards the end, we were trying to get the bonus a little earlier, so I was just trying to be aggressive. The defense gives me try not to settle as much, but um, you know, just just being aggressive and just really just playing through the flow again. Kobe Price, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Terrence. Uh, in that third quarter, especially, it seemed like the Wendell Carter Jr., Franz Wagner, their two-man game really started to flourish. I guess from where you stood on the floor, what were you seeing? I guess, how have you seen that partnership grow in the last couple of weeks? Um, good, man. I mean, you know, Franz is a, he's a hell of a player, man. He's really, really good. He does just about everything. He passes it, he can handle the ball, you can shoot, you can finish at the rim. So, um, you know, him finding Wendell is, is a big, you know, I think we honestly need to find Wendell more because he gets a lot of mismatches, especially when we put two fives in. I mean, he's really a five, but he can play the four. He really played the three. But um, it, it's it's we really gotta look for him more because he has a lot of smaller guys on him. Um, we gotta do a better job of dumping it in there. But Fonts and and uh, and Dell be doing a great job playing off of each other. You know, making it easier for us. To lose. And how important would be gaining a victory for you guys tomorrow? Just from more so from a morale standpoint. I'm good, man. I'm just you know we we trying to focus in on the smaller things and not worried about the too much of the big picture and try to take it day by day. Um, you know, this is this is a positive step in the right direction. You know, we lost, but, but we got to build on this. Um, you know, we can in this road trip with a win. You know, that's, that's another good step in the right direction. All right. Thank you, Terrence. I hope so. Um, you know, after your group gave up 142 points the other night to, to Sacramento, I know it was a big focus for you guys to, to respond on the defensive end. How, how do you feel if you guys have that challenge tonight? Um, I thought we did a pretty solid job on the defensive end. I mean, we gave ourselves a chance to win the game, and we held them to, I think, what, what was it, 106? So, I mean, that's not – especially against a team like that, they, they, they get into a lot of ice situations, and they score the ball pretty, at a pretty high clip. So, it's a pretty good defensive effort, but, you know, we'd like to win the game. Yeah, obviously. Cole, you know, as a, as a point guard who, who plays with Franz when he's off ball and then somebody who also, you know, makes plays with him when he's, you know, uh, playmaking himself, just, just what kind of player is he and, and how good is it to play alongside a guy like that? Um, it's just, he's, he's just a guy who's super easy to play with. You can throw him in any system, he's going to, he's going to be fine. He just, he just really knows how to play the game, really understands it, play without it, play with it shoot it like just he's just a, a phenomenal player and I just I, once again just extremely happy that I'm here you know get a chance to help him develop and I just can't wait to see future holes right go ahead Joel Josh Cohn OrlandoMagic.com hey Cole uh what'd you see on that shot that tied the game with 23 seconds left seems like you, you got a big on you and you look to take advantage was that what you saw and how were you able to get the shot off yeah I, mean, I saw a bucket I mean it just I, I, I knew it was how much time was on the clock? I knew what we needed, and I was like, yeah, let me just go get one. I'll give me a chance to win this game. Kobe Price, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Cole. Uh, in that third quarter, it seemed like Wendell and Franz together, the two-man game, really started to get things going and kept you guys in it. I guess, what were you seeing from there? And I guess that connection, how have you seen that grow over the past couple of weeks? Oh, I mean, just uh, – Wendell is just, he sets really good screens, one, and Wendell, I mean, and uh, Franz is just a heck of a cutter. So, I mean, just that, and then also to find the fact that Franz is a pretty good decision maker with the ball, too. So, it's just, it's, it's just pretty natural when you have someone that's a, that good a screener, and someone that's that good with, with the ball and without the ball. It's just, it's just natural to have a connection with each other. My bad. I missed mean, I mean, to ask uh, Jamal this earlier, but how much have you guys, I guess, in practices or even shoot-arounds been emphasizing, you know, those two playing off each other as much as they did in that quarter? Um... 
for practices, I mean, that probably hasn't been the main focus. Honestly, for us, like, we, we've been focusing more on the defensive end and just, you know, the team just locking in, being tied together and just making play, uh, just having each other's back. I say that's been the main focus in practice. But, I mean, it's, 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 it's awesome to see them having the connection grow. Kind of just, like, natural for them? Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay, last question. James Hill, BNC Sports. Hey, Cole, you give the Clippers uh, 23 and 6. That game could have went either way. Can you just talk about that particular game and then moving into tomorrow because you get another opportunity on the five-game road trip? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the first part of the question or just that question again? Sorry. That's all you, give, you give the Clippers uh, 23 and 6. The game could have went either way but you get another opportunity tomorrow against the Lakers and you're still on the five game road trip. Just talk about what you saw out there. Um, I just, I saw a game that we, we, we could have, that could have very easily gone the other way. Just, you know, we had some, some defensive breakdowns throughout the game that, I mean, where we just were giving up a lot of open shots. I mean, in our game plan, we obviously, we had, I mean, shoot, we, we, we wanted like Terrence, I mean, we wanted just was shooting a lot of those shots, but, what we didn't want was them just getting butt naked looks, like just where we're not even there at all to even try to slightly contest it. They, that's what they were getting. And so for us, we got to be better on the defensive side. We just like, we, we, we wanted them to shoot. We're not saying we didn't want them to shoot, but we just, we wanted to at least be there to give some type of channels. Like they were just getting, just they were wide open. And so we just got to be better on that in terms of just spraying out and, you know, just giving a little more effort on defense. Thank you, Cole. Thank you, Cole. Let's kind of take us through that that last play. Uh, I know you inbound to Terrence. You know, how, how did you feel about the look that, that you guys were like, able to get there? Um, I mean, I knew I was going to switch it, but not a lot of time on the clock. I think it was a very decent shot for two offs. I think we'll, we'll limit that look. Uh, that kind of situation out there, I think, was the play too. So, um, yeah. Uh after, after you guys kind of allowed 142 points to Sacramento the, the other night, how, how did you feel about the defensive effort in, in response uh, tonight against the Clippers? Yeah, I think very, uh, a lot better. I mean, uh, we're kind of trying to make some people take shots that normally don't take a lot of threes and stuff like that. So if they happen to hit one or two or maybe even three, so that's just how that goes. But um, I don't know what they ended up scoring, but I think – might, might not even happen in 100, so uh, maybe a little bit more. But, um, yeah, I think a lot better than, obviously, the Sacramento game, but um, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Some people hit some shots, and, um, yeah, that's enough then for, for them to win the game. I know we've talked about this kind of kind of at length, but you continue to, to do more playmaking, uh, you know, especially with the, the first unit. Just how much more comfortable are you getting there and, and, and your teammates getting comfortable with, you vice versa. Yeah, um, I mean it's still a challenge, um, but you know I think I'm learning um, to like communicate a little bit better. I'm gonna see something out there, and so we're better prepared and don't just play um, play improvising as we're out there and um, learning what what different teams like to play on defense and what their coverages are, what they want to give up, that kind of stuff, and then telling um, the bigs what to do or. Um, even the guards, what, what to look for. I think I would get a little bit more comfortable doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to watch from uh, I'm trying to get a lot of things to fit up better today. Go ahead, Joel. James Hill, BNC Sports. Franz, your first time around the league. Uh, you dropped 20 tonight to help the cause. Uh, just talk about continuing to get better and helping the Magic uh, compete and win games. Yeah, I mean, um, it's hard, you know, losing a bunch of games in a row and stuff like that. But uh, I think for us this year, it's it's all about the process and um, trying to get better. And it's the same for me. Um, I mean, as a rookie, you're just, I'm just trying to learn every day and ask questions and um, kind of learn from everybody around me. And um, uh, yeah, I'm very lucky that everybody around me is helping me a lot. And as the coaches, I've given me a lot of confidence to um, kind of try some things out there uh, that I've normally that I normally haven't, haven't been doing really in college and before that. So um, that's been really cool for me that um, that kind of, uh, yeah, quickens my, my learning curve, I think, a little bit, uh, being able to try some stuff out out there. Quick turnaround. You guys return to action tomorrow. 
And again, uh, you just want to get out there and compete. Talk a little bit about coming back and playing your game. Yeah, uh, back-to-backs are always tough. Um, it's going to be more about energy than anything else, I think. Uh, and our defense, I think that's what kept us in the game today. And um, yeah, that's what we want to do tomorrow as well. Kobe Price, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Franz, uh, going back to the question about the playmaking earlier, do you feel like that was always in your skill set? Um, or was, it have, was this just more by guess, opportunity? Um, I think uh, on all teams that I've played so far, I always did some type of playmaking, uh, whether it's off handoffs or uh, in the pick and roll sometimes. Um, it's just now a lot more obvious because a lot of times I bring the ball up um, and play that second game. So, um, I mean, there's a lot going into being a point guard and, like I said, communicating with other guys, so I'm still learning that. But um, I think playmaking and kind of reading what the defense does, um, I think I've always done that a little bit. Obviously, we can improve that too. And I guess what's the, been the biggest thing you've learned in regards to, I guess, being a playmaker, being from a passing standpoint, being in the league? Um. I think that a lot of teams stick with their coverage and um, a lot of times you can adjust to that before you even play against them and uh, knowing what defenses do before we actually run the play, I think it's really important and that's what the best point guards and the best players do in this league. So um, like I said earlier, talking to guys that I play with on the court and making sure that, that we're on the same page of um, what's going to be open in a second. I think that's been the, the one thing I've learned the most. And it seems like uh, seemed like you and Wendell really, you know, your the partnership between you two really starts to flourish more in that third quarter. Um, I guess how much has that partnership, I guess, you know, developed, especially these last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think it's really easy to play with Wendell. You don't really have to um, talk too much. He is, it's, he's a really smart player, knows uh, how to how to find you when you open. And um, a lot of times we don't even talk. Where it's just playing off of each other and what what the defense has given us and. Um, yeah, it's really, really fun playing with smart players like that. All right. Thank you, Franz. Thank you, guys.